Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. Question from yesterday as well. Is it Sayyidi, if devils are chained during Ramadan, why do we still get affected by them during this holy month? Is their influence inside this holy month much less than other? Yeah. Your, your devils are chained in Ramadan, <laughs> not other people's devils because the nation has been more attacked during Ramadan. Because unbelievers heard of Ramadan then said, that's the time to fight these people because they'll be weak from being hungry. So it's not devils are chained, but your devil will be chained by your fasting. And anytime you fast, Prophet taught that shaitan runs through your blood. Means the satanic energy is related to what you eat and drink and how you breathe. And he comes into your system, we said shaitan is inside people. All the wudu that you're making outside is for the outside shaitan. The stronger one is the inside shaitan. And as soon as you enter into fasting and restrict your food and drink, that one inside becomes weakened by your siyam. That's why fasting is so hard because that shaitan inside is pushing you to break your fast. He needs energy. Break your fast so that I can attack you again, I need energy. And as soon as you restrict the food he becomes weaker. You restrict the, the drinking he becomes weaker. That's why we said that the first 10 days is rahmah. First 10 days wasn't maghfirah, Allah gave us a clue that it's the rahmah that I send down a light that chains your nafs so that allows you to enter into the Ramadan, into the fast. If Allah had not granted a rahmah in the 10 days, everyone's nafs would have destroyed them from fasting. That's why every other nation they were denied that rahmah and they did not keep the fast. They have lint where they leave Coca-Cola for a day. They're supposed to fast 30 days. So then they say, well Lent, what is it, Flint or Lent? Lent. And Lent? Lent? Yeah, they're supposed to fast 30 days. Then they say, okay, just abstain from something you like. So somebody says, okay, I like chocolate. Then don't eat chocolate for a day. So it means their devils are so strong that they can't stop for one day to do. This is a rahmah from Allah it's not easy for two billion people to be fasting on this earth. It's a sharat and a sign. There's rahmah of Allah on this nation because it's the rahmah of Sayyidina Muhammad and that Allah's chosen messenger to show that my chosen messenger, his people will keep the fast because I'm chaining their bad character, bad desire so that they can enter it in. Once 10 days they have entered it in, that shaitan becomes so weakened that they continue through and maghfir Allah begin to burn. Sifat of this month is under 81, Dhul Fadl is the name of Sayyidina Muhammad the source of every goodness. And Allah's name is Al-Muntaqeem. That if not for Allah to send and say, I'm going to avenge my creation from what shaitan has done to them. Because Al-Muntaqeem comes and begin to beat and put fire onto the shaitans and they're running. So their fasting is burning devils, burning shaitans, inshaAllah. Sayyidi, uh, what's the role of the taweez? The role? The role or… The purpose of a taweez is to take a sign of humility that I'm nothing Ya Rabbi and that I'm seeking a path of humility and that you watch over and protect me. And the names of holy people and Ayatul Qur'an has a power, Allahu Haqq has a power. The names of only Allah, Tanzil Rahmah, bring a mercy and a rahmah. Ruqya is well known in Islam. That when they write Ayatul Kursi or Ayatul Kareem and different ayat of Holy Qur'an, they put it for barakah and tabarak. But the Wahhabi madhab that came to destroy Islam that they'll be leaving soon, we're not able to do that. That was all Islamic history that this was the way of protection. Islamic armory 
was all the names of Allah the name of Sayyidina Muhammad all their swords had all calligraphy, all their armour had Muhammadun Rasulullah, La ilaha illallah, hasbunallah, inna fatanaka fatan mubinan, everything. Because there's angels with everything written there are angels and malaika. Every verse or word if you mention just Allah and write it, what angels are accompanying those kalam? And what is the responsibility of those angels to watch over that kalam and whomever wears it, what type of difficulties to take and then it's a protection from unseen. The Prophet gave his only Allah flags, sijil, sijil, sijils, what are they call flags? A sijil, huh? I don't know. <laughs> Gave each of his awliya a flag from the kingdom. And the flag is the taweez in which Prophet told them that your people write this, they should be under Allah's protection, under the protection and nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad under the nazar of Ulul Am. And then from the Ulul Am they are the Budala, Nujaba, Nuqaba, Awtad, Akhyar, Qawth, Jinn wa Malaika. Means these categories of rijal and saints and jinns and ints that are responsible and they come as a protection with that flag. So it has to do with the kingdom that whom, who wears that taweez is under the flag of those shaykhs and they're known in the Divinely Kingdom and the shaitans know those flags. So it's like in your house when you put a sign and you say ADT and your house is protected by ADT, why? Why did you just let the people come and rob your house and they can find if the door is ringing or not or the alarm is going off? So no, because it's a protection. You sign up, you get your contract with ADT and more important is the signs on the outside. So the burglar comes and looks, oh this is going to be a headache. As soon as I hit this glass the noise is going to go off, the police are going to come, let me go to the neighbor house, he has no sign in his house. <laughs> Uh, means the shaitans they see, we don't see. When they look at insan they see something is shining through their chest when they're wearing their taweez. They see something is shining on their home and on their car. When they see that taweez they say, we don't need that fight, we, we, we're out of here. We go to the next person who, who doesn't have these things. Many, many different realities. And this bad madhab that came and made everything to be shirk and everything because they work for shaitan. When you work for shaitan no doubt you want the taweez off, no doubt you don't want any of the taweez on the wall because the shaitan is telling them, tell them to take these things off so we can possess their people better. That's why they work for shaitan. They work for shaitan and they took away thousand years of history that there was never a time. That's why go look at all the masjids of Allah they're all with taweez and calligraphy everywhere. Taweez is just something that you put, every calligraphy, every masjid has calligraphy, this is a taweez. Why they put the calligraphy in the masjid? <coughs> to glorify Allah and to bring a safety and an energy and a positive energy because everyone coming with all their garbage into the masjid. So then these energies take away every type of difficulty, all the mu'min beings are coming because of the energies of what was written and they pray in there. The Taj Mahal had the entire Yaseen was written all over it, it was a huge taweez, immense power. Why? They knew what they were doing. Now they want to make masjid like an insane house. Have you seen an insane house, cuckoo house? It's white walls, nothing, nothing. That's not the masjid of Allah Allah even His Holy Kaaba, He's putting, put khiswa and put all the writings on it. But the matafa comes and say, make a house like a cuckoo house, all white walls. So in case they want to like grab themselves and go bang into the, to the walls, <laughs> the way of Allah Allah to glorify Allah at every moment. And what secrets and powers has in all of these kalam. We pray that Allah inspire us and guide us towards goodness and to forget about these people and what they're teaching. They work for devils so that the devils can possess people. We pray that Allah guide and protect us. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa 
وبسير السورة الفاتحة. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.